Hi everyone, welcome to my next installment of my video blog. Today's special guest is Kalua. He's my 10 year old Siamese kitty. He's a little crotchety. You gonna say hello today, Kalua? Kalua? Say hello, Kalua. Say hello to everybody. Come on. Wonderful. He's very, very vocal. He's very sweet. He's my love bug. Um, he's a little cutie pie. Alright, Kiwi. Lay down. Wow. <laughs> Had a very busy week this week. Unfortunately, it did not involve a lot of painting. I've been working on the business side of art, which can be very time consuming. Uh, it's a lot of things that people don't realize happen. Uh, administrative activities, adding things to websites, taking care of customers, things like that. I did get a new shipment of products in this week. They are soy candles that I have licensed to. The company is called Candles Enchanted. They have a whole line of my soy candles. They're very, very well made, very highly fragranced. They're great. I just got my holiday collection in. This is a 16 ounce seamless tin. I have it in six different designs. Well, it comes off like this. It's got a double wick. There's soy. There's glitter embedded in the wax. They're very, very nice. And they're pretty reasonably priced, I believe. I also have the apothecary jars, which are our largest candle. They're very nice. They come with metal lids. And again, there's glitter in the wax. This is a peppermint fragrance. It's very uh, mint and vanilla smelling. It's very nice. I've actually lit a couple of these at home and I really like them. Our big item for fall is our Whisper Candle. This is a little 8 ounce jelly jar candle. Again, it's got the metal lid. And there's glitter embedded in the wax. The fragrance for this is actually called Acorn Harvest. It's very um, vanilla and kind of buttery. So if you like food scents like I do, you would really enjoy the new candle scents. If you want to check them out, they're on the website at www.ashevans.com. <clears throat> In addition to the candles, we also have added my 2009 Mythical Creatures calendar. It is available now and will be so till about March of this year. If you purchase a calendar, do feel free to bring it to FairyCon. I'd be more than happy to sign it for you. Uh, this week I've also been doing a lot of work with China. We're trying to tie up some loose ends for our six new prototypes that we're doing for statuary. Unfortunately, one of the prototypes isn't going to work out. Um, we were going to do Kitty Magic because that is a very, very popular piece of mine and it features my three kitty cats, so I personally loved it, but it just, it's not what I wanted it to be, and I'm not going to sell anything that I'm not completely in love with. So we swapped that out and put in a unicorn this time. Her name is Sky Dancer. She's going to have little stars in her mane. She's actually very beautiful. It's going to be a really beautiful piece of statuary, and I'm very excited to get it. Maybe by next week I'll have pictures of her and maybe I'll include them in the blog along with our new 2009 figurine lineup. We are having a lot of fun developing our own products and it's really working out for us so you will see more of them from us as things develop. I've also been doing a lot of writing for my graphic novel, the Persnickety's graphic novel that I've been talking about for God, what, three years now? Something ridiculous like that. Every time I go to start it or work on it, I get distracted with another project or something happens. It just hasn't been the right time. So hopefully this time around we'll really get some things going. I'm planning on doing it digitally. So you could be watching me draw panels of it on Ustream. I'm not quite sure yet. I want it to be everything that I had hoped for, so I'm going to meticulously just work on it and have it be perfect. So I can't uh, promise you that it's going to be out anytime soon. I get emails about it a lot, going, what about the graphic novel? What about the graphic novel? You talk about the graphic novel. Where is it? I want to buy it. Uh, 
it's not here yet, unfortunately. I just can't seem to develop it fast enough for everyone's liking. I'm, I'm kind of afraid I've never done a comic before. There are some pretty badly done comics out there. I just don't want to be another one, and that's a big concern of mine. Um, so I promise you guys are going to be the first to know when things like that develop. I have been working on Enchanted Moon. All of the roses are painted. There were about 50 of them, so it did take a good bit of time. I should be working on her this week, and hopefully it will be done. I keep saying that, but then I get a wholesale order or a phone call, and it's just been a little crazy here, which is good, but bad for art. Good for business, bad for art. Anyway, I guess that this is going to be me wrapping up my vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know Kalua has had so much excitement. He's going to be asleep for the next 18 hours because he's a cat. That's pretty much what he does. Anyway, stay tuned next week for hopefully new art and another adorable furry co-host and who knows maybe I'll sing and play the guitar for you or something crazy. I am getting emails about me asking me to do things on my video blog. Some of them were a bit unusual. Uh, I am open for suggestions but at the same time I'm just gonna do what I want so hopefully you're not terribly insulted if I'm not doing the things that you're emailing me. I do appreciate getting emails. I like getting fan mails and hearing from you. So do keep that up and I'll be talking to you again next week. So I hope everyone had a great weekend and have a good week and we'll see you again soon. Bye now.